All right, so I'm putting on my headset, and then Classic Dinos wow. is putting on his headset. Oh my god, that's me. The man, the legend. Oh my, oh, we got Blue versus uh, Texas Zora, I think? Yes, this is Texas Zora. Yeah, he's the one who plays Silvanos as opposed to Arizona Zora, who plays a really mean maple. Yes. Well, I'm sure we'll be seeing him later on. But we got Blue. One of my favorite players. He's because so crazy, dude. He, I don't understand half the things he does. And everything. He's he's one of those players that I feel like really embodies the spirit of rivals in the sense that like he will just like not play for a while and then play, pick crazy options, and, and then like, win. He just annihilate wins. Annihilate people with it. Yeah. Like. He's he's one of definitely one of the more creative players that uh, you can possibly see in this game. It's he's so much fun to watch. His raster is top of the line. Like top ten quality, what a man! The the thing that stands out for for his wrestlers me is like, and you can kind of see glimpses of it as he's pushing Zora off stage. That like, he doesn't usually reset to neutral when I whenever I watch him. Right, yeah, he yeah. pushes in really hard and he like hunts for a sweet spot of bees where he can find them. His punish is so crazy aggressive. Like it's he he always finds his kills. I oh Ooh. very important parry by Zora and just like that. Look at that building himself a little bit of space on stage. Yeah. Um. So that being said about all about blue, let's talk about Zora. Yeah. Uh, one of the only like known Sylvanos mains. There's there's a couple, but he's you know he's not that popular of a character. I think at low tier city he got second to somebody. I can't I, remember. That sounds about right. I do know for sure he's in top eight there. Yes, he, yeah. he definitely plays very well, and he's uh when when people talk about Sylvanos, he is one of the people that gets brought up. Very good, but mostly online player. Really strong punish by Blue, tracing that, that uh, landing from the upbeat. I mean, you kind of have to mix that stuff up as uh, ooh, as Sylvanas, because your recovery can be a little bit exploitable. There's not that big of a hitbox. If the opponent knows that it's coming, they can punish it pretty bad. Like Just like that, Blue calling out the uh, recovery right at the ledge, just barely holding on. Zora doing a great job behind the corner of the screen. That's right. And here you see like Blue, what, what, we, what we were talking about earlier, Blue is not giving this man a break. He's almost dead. He did die. Yeah. I was, I was kind of impressed there because uh, Zora opted to like go for the exact same recovery that time too, and mm -hmm. Blue was just not afraid at all to call it out because it's scary because if you call out that edge recovery and then Sylvanos recovers in, now you're caught at the edge of the stage against Sylvanos. They was the whole stage so well. She just snared him across the stage. <laughs> oh my god. The the thing with Sylvanos is like his recovery. Both his recoveries are so slow that it is really easy to exploit. Especially someone as fast as Blue on a character like Raster, it's ridiculous. And you can kind of see he used Grounded Slipstream like most of that game to just catch him on those recoveries every yeah. single time. So like, I kind of like this this from Blue as opposed to like trying to jump up and intercept Zora on the way there. I just play it calm. Sylvanos wants to come to the ground as fast as possible, so you can leverage that because you're so fast on the ground and catch him. Yeah, it I makes think. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry. No, no, I was done. <laughs> I, I think here, uh, he, he just showed, too, like, one of Sylvanas' big weaknesses. He's a heavy boy. He gets comboed mm. very, very hard. Yeah. And he was in disadvantage for pretty much all of that game. Like, he, he, he looked really good in neutral, and then Blue got one hit. Yeah, yeah. He's a crazy man. That's, I mean, that's kind of the story of fighting Raster in a lot of ways, too. Because you just, you have to be so careful, because pretty much anyone in the cast, unless I'm mistaken, they can just get zero to death by this character. Oh, yeah. Oh, big time. Blue, especially, like like we were talking about earlier with this punish game, he really shows how Raster just has so many options to kill you. See like that. Bit, yeah, right there. Getting, it, once again, a kill off the top. I have a feeling Zora chose the, uh, chose the stage specifically for the really large side blast zones, or one of the main reasons, so that uh, Blue kind of has to kill only from the top. Uh, but Blue's not really having too ever a hard time going for that. I assume the other reason is you can snipe with a, <laughs> a strong, <laughs> really well under that platform, and it also just gives you another nice surface to spritz and grass round. Uh, the more land, the better for Zivanas. That's right. He gets yeah. to he gets to cover both the bottom plat uh, the bottom plat the ground and the <laughs> only platform on the stage so in, easily with grass. In a sense, it is the bottom plat. <laughs> like, yeah, kind of. Oh, wow. Ooh, good DI. Yeah, that was scary stuff. But Zora going a little bit too hard there, but still managing to avoid the last hit of these follow ups from Blue. Oh, it drops that. Uh, he he could have tech chased there, but it looked like he dropped it. That was just such good patience by Blue. Just yeah. chilling on the other side, reacting to the howl. Blue's such a grounded player. It makes it uh, it makes it nice that he can actually parry the uh, the howl. Because a lot of time, like, Raptors are aerial most of the time. Ooh, that was I, nice. I think that move is the reason why we're seeing Blue stick to the ground. I agree. Because he recognizes that there's no parry in the air, and it covers so much air movement. Yeah, no clearing in this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. Blue getting this punish. Drops it. Oh. He just tried to shmeet him. It still puts him in a fantastic position. It's not does. able to get a kill off of it, but it's still like 99% on the last stock. Yeah, resetting the neutral here. Oh, is that it? Blue killing not such quite. a patient neutral, too. Just, just like you said, kind of just dashing back and forth in the slipstream so that he's able to react to the approach by Zora and get a really strong punish in. But it's Zora's chance. Gets Blue off stage. Look, 50%. This is... I can see a Silvano smash attack killing here. Yeah, well, definitely. Especially if Blue DIs it. Uh, even, like, a little bit wrong. Because the Raster is such a light man. Oh, goes for the down strong. Just wants to get the fast side-by-side -side punish. Yeah. Uh, that way you don't have to read which side Raster is landing <laughs> on. But Blue calling out the rollback and getting himself the maximum punish for that. I, I was about to say...